Okay folks, today I want to show you guys a project I'm working on to try to improve the rigidity of my lathe. I noticed some problems, particularly when I was trying to take fine cuts or high stress load cuts like uh, boring or knurling, that the whole saddle or carriage was moving a little and I realized that the weakest point here was the two, uh, I think they're just jibs along that run underneath the bed. If you noticed, uh, I've taken off the um, compound and the cross slide and, and sort of stripped this down. And what you can see here is that, and this is exaggerated right now, but I'm able to wiggle the uh, carriage up off of the uh, off of the bed. Now, obviously, if you've got the carriage fixed and you're using the carriage lock and just using the compound of the cross slide, you can solve that problem. But for something like boring, where you need to actually be using uh, moving the carriage along the bed. I want this to be more rigid. So I noticed the problem was really that, um, take this off here. The problem was that the, um, I was working on, I was tightening the part, this down mostly by hand or just loosely with an Allen wrench. And I was just tightening these three snug, um, or six, three on each against the, uh, bed. And the problem with that is that they would then instantly work themselves loose or, or quickly work themselves loose uh, and from the vibrations of turning which meant I was back to having a wobbly carriage. So what I'm doing today and I'm starting with the back um, the back jib is um, trying to properly use the jib by adjusting these two uh, set screws and then t snugging or tightening it down with these such that it shouldn't come loose. The first thing I noticed is that I think the appropriate distance um, is going to mean there's quite a bit of gap, as you can see right here. And uh, I can already tell you that, well, first of all, if I tighten the sides down, as you can see here, just ever, ever so gently, it's going to bow the part, which means that the only area I'm going to have bite are on the two sides as it, when it curves. Um, but I also want it to be uniformly straight so that I can snug it down. And it's not going to move and this part itself is, is rigid, not necessarily having to just be squeezed against the lathe bed. So what I've done, and this is sort of a work in progress right now, but uh, as you can see, I've got that distance there, which I measured, and I grabbed just a piece of sheet metal, or actually, sorry, this is uh, aluminum, and I used a pair of sheet metal shears and just a file to notch out the three holes where my uh, screws go through here. So as you can see, what's, what I'm intending to do is slip that in there. It'll still protrude, protrude out the back here a little bit. It's not going to interrupt on the inside. And then I've cut a few pieces of 3 thou uh, brass shim stock, which here's the box. I purchased this from, uh, from ENCO. It actually, I don't remember how much it was, but I think it was only 10 or $15, and it's uh, quite a few feet. Uh, yeah, five feet of it, six inches wide, so pretty cheap. So what I'm going to do right now is try to uh, loosen these up, slide in my shim stock in between the four pieces, gaps here. Uh, and the shim stock will be going right in there so that I get this to be a nice snug fit and then tighten these down so that this whole piece is tight and fixed uh, when I slide it back on. So. Okay, folks, this is what I had in mind. I slipped my piece of aluminum uh, shim in there and then slid in the uh, thinner pieces of uh, two pieces each of three thou shim stock which I thought was going to give me a good starting height to experiment with and this is a failure as I was tightening it down I have cracked uh, this piece in the back here I remember reading on the uh, one of the forums that this actually ha is common or prone to happening so going to have to go back to the drawing boards here. I think what I'll probably do is end up remilling this piece, but um, need to do a little research. I'll keep everyone posted.